DJ Knox, the rugged tailback, motions in. They fake it to him. Blau wants to throw one first down, and it's the catch made by Rondell Moore, who escapes. Look out. He's got blazing speed and a lot of power to go to the 40-yard line as well. I mean, Haskins, he can get you out of these holes. Paris Campbell on the edge, and that excellent blocking for Mike Weber is the back. And they flip it in the flat. And Johnny Dixon able to get about five yards. Haskins four for four, but only 11 yards so far. Play action. And they sling it to the middle. And another catch up at the 45-yard line. Hill has a first down. And this is Weber in the flat. It's almost like a running play. Makes the catch. Dives but a yard short of the first down. They've become an extension of their running game. And there's a first down carry inside the 45 to Weber. Willemakers bring pressure. Haskins hit as he throws, but he gets the ball to Luke Farrell, the tight end. Lee Kirk talked to him. He said, I'm going to have to keep my emotions in check, not be sky high. Buckeyes did not offer him a scholarship. And he was highly motivated and had to feel good. That stop on the quarterback on third down. Buckeye special teams do a superb job. McLaurin, the receiver, flying down there, got a hand on it. Tough to do when you're pinned back this deep. He fake it, and from the end zone, he fires second completion. Catch made by Jared Sparks. And the man who came here from Louisiana as a quarterback. Penetration can blow them up, and they won't work. The Buckeyes are getting to the backfield like that. So now on second and long, a long throw. A flag comes out as Moore makes the catch. That comes from southern Indiana, but actually moved across the river to go to high school in Louisville. And now Blau's under pressure, and he's going to be slammed to the ground. Jonathan Cooper got there to clean it up. Chase Young is providing pressure as well. True freshman to walk onto a campus and do that. And play action. Blau makes a long throw. Moore, a juggling catch. The whole skill set on display. He's a very confident young guy. Only converted once on fourth down all year in four tries. Blau sneaks it and gets it inside the 45. Took him and they won three bowl games in his years with the Hilltoppers. First down throw, and that's the tight end. Bryson Hopkins, his dad Brad, know him well from the tight end yep. of the Houston Oilers, 13 years, all pro in the NFL. Yep. Touched the run against Nebraska, ran for 150 against Illinois. A third down throw from Blau, and it's Moore across the middle, beats his man again. Very tough to get to the ground with just one defender, and he's inside the 25. To block out the receiver, Sparks. Blau backpedals, it's a screen, Knox has a lot of room. Cuts it back. Loses the football. It rolls out of bounds at the Buckeye 10. So Purdue retains possession, but it'll come back. Right. Exactly, Kirk. The 31 red zone trips. Only 17 touchdowns. Kicked 11 field goals in the red zone. And now a throw to the end zone. Caught touchdown. Isaac Zico. The Boilermakers, two touchdown underdogs, jump on top. Now Johnny Dixon charges up, makes a fingertip grab of the kickoff, and has space. Dixon, stutter steps. Terrific return out across the 45 of a very short kick into the wind. Dobbins takes the pitch, gets the edge, and it'll be knocked down after a six-yard gain. Cornell Jones, the middle linebacker, was there. And now there's another a, flag yeah, down. Flag in there late. Haskins slings it near side, catch made, and McLaurin is knocked down right there. It'll be a first and goal. Might get to be able to kick because of a groin strain. So Blake Hobiel, and so the family likes the name said. Now Hobiel, he's been the kickoff specialist, but a very reliable field goal guy too. Buckeyes on the board, but Willemakers keep him out of the end zone. After the team defeated Nebraska, they went and presented him with the game ball after he had to leave school as a result of his illness now in home hospice care 20 years old Chris see him and get used to that uniform in it Weber in the first down carry gets it out across the 10 yard line he said six of seven games has top 500 yards of total offense Haskins pressured trying to escape and is going to be knocked down for a short loss it was Carnell Jones who got him now they need nine 
Haskins is pressured, steps up, delivers a strike. KJ Hill's got it again. Another first down to the 35. On this Purdue offense and what they need to do. He's in the backfield. Blau instead looks over the middle, and he's got the tight end running free. This is Cole Herdman, and he barrels well into Ohio State territory. 19-yard gain, or 29-yard gain, I should say. Now, what was looked like it was going to be a flea flicker. Knox was going to, it was a fake. He looked like he was going to pitch it back to Blau. Kept it and muscled forward for four. There's Shopper trying to pin Ohio State deep. Kicks it with backspin very high. And they are able to down it. So Purdue does its job on the punt team. And Ohio State will be backed up once again. You're in and you're out, so. We appreciate you sharing this story. You've touched so many and you've inspired even more. So Haskins backed up, flips the screen to Dobbins. He's got blockers. J.K. Dobbins in the clear. He was just held up briefly. Still able to get a first down before Mosley drove him out. Thousand yard receivers for the career for the first time ever. From the pocket, Haskins looking downfield for Hill. One of those guys, and he's dancing around inside the 20. Let's see how bold the former quarterback at Louisville is. It's a first down handoff, and Knox breaks free. Knox in the clear, banging off Buckeye defenders out near the 40, and that should change the complexion of this drive now. Great vision to be able to find that hole. 19-yard gain, he's got it again. And with those timeouts to spare, let's see, will he use one here? Be surprised to see to try to throw the ball in behind them. Wow, pitches it downfield, has a man wide open. Zico! The man who made the touchdown catch earlier wrestled down at the 20. He's kicked a lot of field goals this year, 11 of 14 from 30 yards to make the lead seven. And it's a fake. And the holder takes off and is going to be knocked down at the nine yard line by Jordan Fuller. Shopper took off, but he got the first down. Wow. Wow, rolls that direction and delivers underneath. Touchdown! Moore makes up for the drop and reaches the end zone. And there's Weber. And the Boilermakers, who have not been a very efficient red zone. Let's try to get them off the field on this first drive. So you're right, this is a big opening drive. Play action, Haskins has time and delivers downfield. And it's Mack slipping a tackle. Austin Mack inside the 40 before Major stopped it. Hobbiles missed from 33, this from 23. And he knocks it through, but three trips for Ohio State near the goal line. Produce only two field goals. Play clock is winding down. Is he going to get lined up? He does. Wiles rolling the other direction, looks to throw back. And underneath, catch me. Muscling down to the one yard line is Hopkins. First and goal for Duke. High formation, two tight ends. Old time, Big Ten football. Touchdown, Purdue! Chance to eventually come back to Victor. Haskins with his 40th pass attempt tonight, loops it to Victor again. Another play. Buckeyes are back, threatening inside the 10. And Ohio State finally find the end zone. Dobbins cuts it back and plows down to the three. Two games of the year, being the more conservative, they scored 23 points a game. And Jones breaks free, first down, and much more. A crucial conversion before Fuller wrestles it down. Final quarter, up 15. From their 24, Knox running left and a powerful run not for about four or five. Zico's had a couple big catches tonight. He's far right. They haven't targeted him in a while. Blau rolls, had Zico open, didn't want him. Now fires over the middle, complete first down into Ohio State territory to Sparks, and he drags Buckeyes inside the 45. Last time they showed this press look and linebackers up the last third down, then dropped out of it and played zone, and they fooled Blau, but he scrambled. More to the left. It's a quick handoff, and bursting up the middle is Knox. Dexter Phillip Knox, touchdown! Protection. There's the downfield shot. End zone touchdown, Johnny Dixon. Pass attempts than rushing yards. Ohio State does tonight. And on the end around. Here comes Moore. Moore still running. 
and runs backwards. He's right near the marker. He had gained sufficient yardage and kind of moved back. Knox runs really, really hard. If you haven't seen this guy run before, Jet sweep. Moore has got it. He's got the corner. Stop and go. Now nope, he stepped out of bounds. Actually, he slammed on the brakes and then tried to accelerate. Kind of one of his patented moves. They fake it to him. Now Knox cuts back. Knox in the clear. Foot race. Touchdown, Purdue. Still more work to do. They're chanting overrated to the Ohio State team. But the Buckeyes capable of creating big play magic across the middle. The catch is made by Victor inside the 40. Clock will stop briefly. He do bring pressure. He gets it out quickly. Caught! McLaurin! Touchdown! Ohio State converts on fourth down and Matthew scores the touchdown. To me. They work the play clock all the way down. It's more in motion. They get it to him. More in space. A burst of speed. A first down for Purdue. He's still going. Moore cuts back. Touchdown. The makers believe that despite just shocking the world and pulling the upset, they, they're contenders in the Big Ten West. It is intercepted. Bailey the other way. Marcus Bailey punctuates this upset with a pick six. Final seconds. I wouldn't even snap it. Boilermakers rush the field. What a night in West Lafayette.